Yes, new MacBook. Let's go. Woo! How much? Nah. 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 Like you probably don't, I don't like giving more money to tech companies just for a tiny bit of extra storage, you know? Whether it's the new Apple M2 MacBook Air, the iPad, the Tab S8 Ultra, it costs a lot of money, right, to have the bigger internal SSD drives. It's a tactic, of course, by these companies to get us to spend more money to get us upgrades, and sometimes it does make sense, I'm not denying that, depending on the workflow, but most of the time, it's a ripoff. Let's be honest here. Well, with this little guy here, that problem goes away. I'm Alex and I do down to earth tech videos. This is the Acasis USB 4 NVMe M.2 SSD enclosure. It supports up to eight terabytes storage. If you're absolutely minted. <laughs> let's start by taking a look at how good this thing is. This is the brand new Apple M2 MacBook Air. I did upgrade the memory on this to 16 gig, but I left the internal SSD exactly the same as the base model with only 256 gig. As a creative, that level of storage is really not gonna go very far. So I needed something that not only allows me to save a large amount of data, but because of my workflow, I need it to be super fast as well. To give you a practical example, I've installed Final Cut Pro on the MacBook Air, the M2 MacBook Air, and I have a huge timeline here. It's not the most complex edit that you'll ever see, but I have two 4K camera angles, one of them being ProRes 422, and I have applied different LUTs to them as well, and I have different color grading in each of them. I also have Motion VFX installed with lots of different effects. I use that for motion graphic effects. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, by the way, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. They're awesome for video editing. All video and audio files are saved on this enclosure. There is nothing saved on the M2 MacBook Air locally. I'm scrubbing through the timeline here, and frankly, it feels like I'm doing my editing just like I normally do on my maxed out M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's incredible, right? And as you can see here, the performance is astonishing. The power of the M2 chip, of course, combined with you know 16 gig of RAM installed on this M2 MacBook Air and access to this fast SSD drive is making everything an absolute delight to use. What's really surprising though, is that I didn't have to change the performance settings at all. You know, the playback is absolutely perfect. Sure, the exporting of this video is important as well, but being able to actually work and multitask, completely running off of something like this, you know, an external SSD drive, is a game changer for me. I appreciate that the M2 MacBook Air is not really a machine for video editing, and I have done a couple of videos with more relevant use cases for it. You know, I'll leave some links down here for you. But clearly, with this Acasis enclosure, the MacBook Air doesn't even break a sweat when editing this video. The enclosure does get a little warm. It operates at about 36 degrees normally Celsius or 97 Fahrenheit. But after about an hour of video editing, it did go up to 103, 104 Fahrenheit, you know, nearly 40 degrees Celsius. But it doesn't become dangerously hot or anything. You know, just make sure you install these cooling pads as well that it comes with a package. In some of the footage you can see here, I don't have it installed, but that's only because it looks better on camera without it. Now, if you don't care about video editing, but you still wanna know how fast this thing is, check this out. Actually, just before I show you how fast this thing is, just a quick reminder to like this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you like my stuff on the channel, it would be awesome if you subscribed as well. YouTube can be a real pain sometimes, you know, and not recommend this video to the right audience unless you interact with the video. I would really appreciate if you did that. So if you watched this far and you liked it, of course, I really appreciate it. So leave me a nice taco emoji. I don't know, I feel a bit hungry right now. And yeah, I could do with a nice taco. Anyway, on one hand, I wanna make sure that I keep this test to a relevant level, following the same theme of the channel here by keeping it down to earth. But at the same time, I appreciate that you might be a pro and this has a, a proper use case for, for pro users as well. So whilst I'm not gonna be moving hundreds of gigabytes between this and the MacBook Air, there is a scenario where you might want to use the MacBook Pro and this. So I have a couple of examples here. I moved these files from and to the enclosure as well, so you have an idea of the read and write transfer speeds. Here's how long it takes to move a 5, 10, and 20 gig folder into the M2 MacBook Air. And doing the same transfers on the M1 Max MacBook Pro, it's even faster because it has a faster controller, probably a bigger cache as well. On the Air, you probably notice a little slowdown once you're moving the, the kind of bigger folder, but on the M1 Max, I was able to move all of the folders even together several times under 10 seconds. You know, that's proper productivity speeds there, right? 
The moral of the story is this enclosure is fantastic, be it for day-to-day -day usage, using the MacBook Air, or something like even the iPad Pro, or you can use this for more pro-like workflows, like editing videos like I've done here, or running virtual machines from it. You know, I have this Windows 11 VM, it's a 40 gig VM, that I can now use completely off this hard drive. That saves me 40 gig of space in, into my M2 MacBook Air, for example, and I'm able to run the machine without any issues at all. You know, performance-wise, it just runs like you would if it was local. Now, here's a bonus little accessory for you as well. So, Acasis also have this, this little hub. Is that, you know, if you're looking for something that not only gives you fast storage, but also extends the number of ports that you have on your device, like the M2 MacBook Air, for example, you can attach a 4K60 monitor to it. You can attach multiple USB-C and USB-A devices. And the best part, it can also house up to eight terabyte storage as well. So, I've got another two terabyte SSD in here. I have reviewed this already on the channel, so I'll leave a link down below for you. Right, the lovely people on YouTube reckons you're gonna like this video over here. And I've done this playlist for you here as well that I think you like. I'm approaching 200 videos on the channel, so I'm sure there will be one there that you like. Hope to see you there. Bye.